Well, during my weekly inspection, um, I found this. This is the oil drain from a whole set HX35, and as you can see, it's got a pretty large dimple in it. So it doesn't look like the inside of the hose actually deteriorated much. Um, what it seems has happened is this is was at the bottom where it connects to the oil pan and it was actually angled a small amount. Uh, so that would be close to the downpipe and what I believe happened is it just got hot and separated the uh, outside layer from the fabric and the inside layer and made it have a real soft spot. Um, rubber hoses aren't great for hot oil. Uh, they deteriorated under those conditions. As you can see, I've chose to use AN fittings. Of course, I will not be using all of these fittings. I ordered so many to uh, not pay shipping more than once. So I ordered two of, of straights, two 45s, two 30s, and two 60s. And what I'll do is I'll find out what does work, I'll modify it to fit, and then I'll make those two fittings work, and I'll send the rest back. Okay, so the fittings I have set up here, I have a 60 degree on the bottom here and I have a 45 coming from up top now what you'll notice is they'll bump together um, but they actually align pretty well that if you trim back two barbs you'll have some room in between and then when you rotate them together they'll be fairly close and you can attach a piece of hose and hopefully um, you know they, they should seal very well in between the two with about a three or four inch piece of hose and that's the drain that we're going to try to make now. Okay, if you watch other uh, YouTube channels that deal with DSMs, you've probably seen uh, one of these here kits before. Okay, so one thing we're going to do here is we're going to make a mark on the flanges on the CHRA so that we know which way it's located um, because we are actually going to make all of our adjustments uh, to the piece that comes off of the CHRA off of the car. So we need a point in which we know where it's going to be facing so that we can judge everything off of that and try to get it right the first time. So this bottom one we can adjust it at any time. We can get a wrench down here, uh, we, you know, right here we can tighten this one down. So we're not really worried about that one. What we really want to focus on is the top one and where it's going to face to meet up with the bottom one. And like I said, we can adjust the bottom one. You want to make sure there's enough clearance between this motor mount and uh, where your hose is going to be. So if you have to angle it a little further out, uh, you know, do so now. 
and then we're just going to make a mark again where this piece is facing off of the silver flange because the, this piece of the fitting rotates this piece of the fitting rotates and then the blue piece uh, that goes into the silver flange is also going to be tightened a little more than it already is so at this point we just need to make a mark of where this one needs to face based off of the flange and we know which side of the flange is facing towards the cabin of the car because I've marked that with white out and as you can see these do fit very nicely and I used a 45 off of the CHRA and a 60 off of the uh, oil pan okay so from the measurements we took I need a two and a half inch section of this hose um, of course it's not very much hose at all but it's all that's needed to close the gap so we're going to mark this off and this hose, this kind of hose here is just fiber braided so we can cut it with a razor blade real real uh, clean and smooth and we'll just mark it off with some tape so that we get a straight cut. Okay, one thing to note here is that th these are MPT threads um, and they do seal themselves as they're tapered but you always want to put something on aluminum threads whether you're using a sealing agent or if you're using something like anisees that just uh, will allow the aluminum to go together and be tightened without galling because the moment that you tighten aluminum on aluminum threads it's going to gall together and seize together and you're never going to get that back apart and still have threads left. When you're playing with wrenches this big, it does not take much to strip out aluminum. So make sure that once you feel it getting snug, you only go a little bit further, especially if you have fittings uh, this big. Now, as you've seen, when I took this adapter off, uh, the gasket was very bad. Um, it was actually leaking out of one side, which caused it to get moist and peel off when I took the adapter off. So what we're going to do is make a new gasket. Of course, you could order another one. Um, if you need to or if you feel like it, uh, this is just, I just chose to go down to the store and get some gasket material. Now they make a, uh, they make a cork gasket material, which um, I don't know how it would hold up. I did a little reading and, and uh, this stuff supposedly will get hard and crack uh, when it gets heated. Well, being on a CHRA uh, of, of my turbo, it's definitely going to get hot. So I decided not to use the cork material and uh, what we're going to use is um, a rubber fiber material now if you also notice rubber fiber is what normally comes in um, a stock drain line kit and that would also bolt to the bottom of the CHRA so I feel a little more comfortable using this type of material than I do the uh, cork material this was picked up at the local hardware store and you can make whatever type of gasket you need as long as you got a razor blade and can cut it Now at this point you have a few options. Uh, you can use regular hose clamps to uh, hold the hose on as an extra precaution. Uh, you got to think you did cut two barbs off and they designed it to be three barbs on. So you definitely want to put something else on here to hold the hose on. Um, all the hose clamps that I have found are about twice as large as they need to be as far as thickness. Um, because when you set them over you can see it's not even going to go behind the barb. So it's not going to hold the hose on there well at all. So what I decided to do is I have some leftover boot band clamps um, from actually doing uh, CV boots on this car. And you see there's plenty of room there. Um, the only weird thing about these types of boot band clamps is they take these weird uh, pliers. They also sell uh, actual clamps that are made for this to as an extra precaution. And uh, I just didn't get any of those. So I'll be using these metal bands to hold my hose on. Now if you're using hose clamps for some reason, you need to go ahead and put those on now before you assemble the next part. It's going to be kind of hard to fit a hose clamp on after that.
I guess I can take the drain part out. Yes, I have a sticker on my steering wheel that says no oil so that I'll remember. <laughs>